Good morning. Good morning, Good morning, Penny. Would you like me to call you Tony or Mr. V? I think Tony would be just fine. Good. I was hoping you'd say that. <laughs> okay. Um, let's get started. Uh, you're here because you're a famous author. And um, mom, tell, tell what you heard in the library. Well, I, I would like to tell this, Tony. Uh, I have been studying about whales in preparation for today, and I think I probably checked out about five books uh, from Graves Library, and the librarian was looking at the books and said, whoa, you must really be interested in whales. And I said, well, yeah. And then um, she said, just wait, there's a book coming out. It's a local author, and he <laughs> He is going to be here at the library, and you will get a chance to hear him talk. And she was so excited. She said, wait until you see this book. It's fabulous. So uh, did you want to say something? No. no. OK. <laughs> <laughs> so anyway, uh, I just say that to say congratulations. Thank you. Uh, but my question is, this is not your first book. No. Yeah, it's your what book? Third book. Penny. Third book. And you didn't start writing when you were little, or you didn't start writing when you were middle-aged, right? Yeah. You, you know. That only leaves one thing left. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So how did you get such a late start? Well, um, I've been a teacher my entire life, Penny, and I love kids. I've worked with kids all my life. And when I retired from teaching, I always wanted to write a book for children. Good. And I wrote several, and they went in drawers and gathered dust. Nothing happened. And one day I said to myself, I'm going to make it happen. And I wrote a book about a seagull. That you'd never do this, Penny. The seagull goes to the beach and eats everybody's lunch. I know. <laughs> yeah. Pretty naughty. Naughty seagull. Yeah. 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 And then your next book? And then my next book uh, is a true story. The title is Tiger, the Monarch Butterfly Who Couldn't Fly. And it's a story about a monarch butterfly that landed in our yard with a broken wing. Yeah, well, and we, we, we presented that book and the first book here in church, yeah. didn't we? Okay. Yeah. So why are you interested in whales? Oh, Penny, I've been interested in whales for many, many years. But why? Um, well, <laughs> they absolutely are amazing animals. They're so mysterious and majestic. As you know, the biggest animal in the whole world is the blue whale. And I started reading about them and learning and just wondering what their life was like. And then I went on whale watches and I saw them in the ocean. And I have to tell you a story. I was with a group of kids. Uh, two of them were Nancy and my children. And we were out in the ocean and there was a humpback whale looking at the boat about 30 yards away. Was it scary? No, it wasn't scary at all. And I said to the kids, let's see if we can get that whale to come close to the boat. And we started tapping on the side of the boat and the whale swam closer and closer and closer. And we were actually able to reach over and touch the top of the whale's head. Oh. This is 20 miles out at Jeffrey's, at Jeffrey's Ledge. Wow. Yeah, it, was, it was quite a. They experience. really touched the head. Yeah, and yeah. I was some brave kids. I was holding them by their waist over the rail of the boat. <laughs> and they were, <laughs> yeah, this is true. And they, about, about six or eight of them got to put their hand on top of the whale's wow. head. What do you think of that? I think that's amazing. And you know what? I love you, Tony. Oh, Penny. Yeah. I love you, too. Yeah. And, and the reason why, there's a reason, it's because you care about animals. And you're a grown-up. And you care about 
you care about butterflies that have hurt wings and you care about whales and I know you care about me too and I'm hoping your next book will be about, <laughs> about penguins. I will get right to work on it. Will you promise? Yeah. You heard him. You heard him. He said his next book he'll get to work. And you can interview me. Okay. Okay. That's Thank a deal. you. Thank you, Penny. Okay.